Hey, here's something cool. I, I got some facts on the great Gretzky, okay. okay? What's this about you peed in your pants during the 1987 <laughs> Canada <laughs> Cup game? Is that true? <laughs> That's very yeah. true. He peed in his pants. In Why? Were, were those guys scary? <laughs> yeah. Why'd you pee yeah. in your pants? In 87, we played in what was called the uh, World Cup. Yeah. And um, we went into double overtime. And it was, I guess, the way, the way to compare is like a triathlon. When you just your body breaks down and you lose control because you're <laughs> skating and working so much. Yeah. Just you no longer on had the bench. control? No, just, I just was so drained and tired. Wow. Just sitting on the bench and all of a sudden I went, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, um, dear. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. So you're in the middle of a game. Yeah, it was late in the game. And you were, like, really burned out. I mean, you yeah. were tired. You would put all your energy because you're the great Gretzky and you put everything into a exactly. game. You know, you always want to win and everything. Yeah. You're a great competitor. And, like, out of all this fatigue, suddenly you lost control of your bladder, which is the only time it happened, by the way, right? It's not like you're in combat. You're not uh, yeah. in a diaper now, are right. you? And you were fully suited <laughs> up, right? And to get yeah. suited up takes quite a bit of uh, work, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And, you, and it's not easy to run to the bathroom. Right. Uh, I was, and uh, it so, wasn't, wasn't good for the guys beside me either. So you're sitting there, and all of a sudden you realize you have no control of your bladder, and you really pee in your pants. Yeah. And you couldn't stop it even. Right. And, wow. and like while you were peeing, were you like, oh, this feels good, but I'm yeah. very embarrassed? <laughs> and it actually did feel pretty good. It did. <laughs> and like when this happened, you, you get embarrassed. You turn yeah. to your teammates and say, listen, I just peed in my pants. Yeah, I told everyone. You did. And were I they was like, kind of proud of it. <laughs> and did, they, did they say, hey, what are you, a baby? You can't. Uh, <laughs> uh, haven't you been potty They were all kind of laughing. But and, and you, did you play the rest of the game with yeah. wet pants? Yeah. Well, wow. you know, you're sweating and you're. you're you it was wear, all I wear wet long anyway. Underwear. Right. Yeah. And, did uh, you smell? Yeah. Hey, what's with your superstitions and stuff? Now, you tuck your jersey in on your left side. What, what is that all about? And you even well, had it sewn into your pants so it can't so come on top? So it doesn't come out? I have Velcro, so it's Velcroed into the... You're so superstitious? Of well, yeah, probably. You when could. I started playing, I was six, and, and at the time, I could only play with 11-year-old kids because there's no other kids at six years old. Right. So everyone got a sweater. In those days, your sweater was made for 11-year-olds. So my sweater went down to my ankles. Right. Mm. So my dad said, you look too small. So to make me look a little bigger, he took my sweater and he'd tuck it in. So oh. ever since then, I kind of... It's been that. lucky? Did you ever Never play really. without your sweater tucked in? You know, uh, a few you? times, yeah. Really? Yeah. And what happened? Did you have a bad game? Bad years. Really? Bad years. <laughs> really? <laughs> so now I tuck it in. And now that you're with the Rangers, are you happy because oh, yeah. you're, you're back with uh, uh, Messier? Yeah, I love it here. And you took a pay cut to come here, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. The best thing about New York is everyone who comes oh. here says, you know, the people are crazy. They're so rude. They're this... They're pretty aggressive. They're nice people. People are very nice. So, I, I've enjoyed my time. Right. Okay. I mean, yeah, but you also meet nice people. Go to hockey games. That's an upscale I walk game. Up, I've been walking up and down this really? street. Really? Right this lot. street? And yeah, you met nice been, people? Yeah. <laughs> hockey is an upscale game? Oh, yeah. It is? Yeah. yeah. Have you been to a hockey game? No, I watch it on TV sometimes. It's yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah I like hockey. But you know what? The thing about hockey is, compared to any other sport, you can watch sports on TV and go to it, and there's not that big of a difference. If you watch hockey on TV and then go to the game, it's a Major different experience. Downtown yeah. this year, they in their sports um, thing, they've uh, actually run a promotion. They're going to feature the fights. Yeah. You know, they're going to pull one out each week. It's going to be the best fight I, I, of the week. We'll be honored. Do you, like get, do you get into too. fights? No. How come no one fights with you? Because you're the great Gretzky? I told the guys the other day, if I got hit once in the nose, I'd know I'd start crying. Yeah, I mean, uh, 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 <laughs> Janet isn't going to put up for a guy who can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> but great one. Uh, why are you visiting today? Are you promoting anything or are you just coming by no, to say hi? I'm, Gary asked me to do the show. And I just came wow, that's show. decent well, of you. you. Man, that I is decent. We love the great one. Yeah. I appreciate uh, you having me down here.